What is up guys, Killer Kevin today back with a brand new episode of Skyrim Special Edition Mod Showcases on my channel. Hopefully you guys are having a super sick day and today we are going to be covering a yet another beautiful Witcher 3 armor. We are going to be covering the Witcher 3 feline armor mod for Skyrim. It looks absolutely beautiful. Guys, as always, if you want this mod, links are via down in the description. Make sure to go and click that and grab this mod just because it looks absolutely awesome and I think it polishes off. Headphones just gone on the floor. I think it polishes off the Witcher 3 sort of theme that we're going on the channel. We've covered a lot before. If you obviously want to know what they are, let me know and I'll plug you instantly with a link. Just let me know. Uh, or if you're sort of like that sort of lurker type and you don't want to comment, go and check out the channel because we have done a few. So once you've installed this mod and you are ready to go, the armor does not work females, unfortunately. Would make sense because I think Garrett wears this armor just for Witcher 3, so it would be a little bit weird if the females want it. If you want to check out any other awesome female armor, I have covered a few this week to so go and check those out just because why not they're pretty damn cool one in particular definitely did caught me off and it does come across in the video like that as well so can be found in the leather section of the forge as well so we're going to go over to my favorite forge in the whole entire world of Skyrim it's going to be the white run forge we're going to go all the way to the leather section here we're going to scroll all the way down and here it is it is the cat armor which is a little bit strange i'm not too sure why it is there but it would make sense of the feline title I've, i was thought it would just said feline armor but it's not it's actually under the category in leather as cat armor so straight off the bat no vanilla texture which is absolutely awesome the armor itself does look pretty damn sweet if you want to know what that sexy armor is in the background we've obviously covered that this week but if you're coming from the future Obviously, viewing this video now, I will be in the past while doing this. A little bit of inception. Then let me know and I'll plug you instantly. If not, again, go and check out the channel for that video. So the cat armor, very damn nice. 10 leather to create. 15 leather straps. Jesus Christ, that is a lot. And one steel ingot to make this. 162 armor value rate and a weight of 10 as well for light armor. Not too bad. I believe I crafted possibly two of those, but that's fine. <laughs> Boots as well, again, no vanilla texture, but again, are looking absolutely awesome. It seems to be like a little steel bar running between the leather straps on just on the shin part there of the boot, which looks look pretty damn cool as well. Again, light armor, weight value of five with an armor value rating of 77. Five leather to make that as well, pretty damn cool. And the gloves, which again, no vanilla texture, but again, look absolutely insane. Very light weight of four and an armor value rating of 81 with only a requirement of four leather to make again pretty damn sweet so three elements for this armor i wonder if we can upgrade them in the workbench have a quick little look you can which is awesome fyi i am using a modded set of perks i covered that in the first week of my top five if you want to know what it is i will directly give you a link but this is how i am achieving an absolutely astonishing amount of armor changes as you can tell so for now 162 with one leather Congrats to a legendary status of 585, which is mind blowing. 77 for the boots to a 288. And for the gloves, 81 to 293. Obviously, all the armor values have changed, the weight has not changed, and the value of gold has changed on those as well. So let's try this armor on and have a little look. Now, guys, I've covered a load of different Witcher mods before. Best recommendation for this is obviously to get the Feline armor set, and I did a whole Garrot build as well to do with Skyrim. Uh, if, if you don't want to look at that and you want to just look around on the website, I know for a fact you can get the double swords straight off the bat if you do want those as well. And actually, I believe you can get the face of Garrot as well if you want to i probably might put it in the thumbnail just for the sake of it but here we go so let's find this beautiful set of armor and bung it on so here it is 585 we're going to plug that on like so which looks pretty damn cool with the boots again 288 and the gloves of 293 might help if we take the assassin creed hood off there we go so the feline armor straight from the back as well beautifully textured throughout that some blue little pants going through there just on the back there and there it is oh absolutely awesome let's get in the sun just have a little better look here obviously i'm gonna need to sweep past my character there it is that looks really damn cool and i love the fact as well that it has that sort of witcher emblem or necklace just on the top there that is freaking damn awesome texture wise it looks absolutely great as i say we've covered many from this author as well i believe it's tfbo i think it's tfbo i'm pretty sure it is that or tbfo 
One of them, well, we've covered loads of this author's mods before, and without a shadow of a doubt, they have been ace every single time. And this one, obviously, has no trimmings on that one as well. It is literally what it is. Absolutely beautiful. Got some leather straps here running through the chest as well. We've got those still sort of beams running through the shin there, which is a little bit weird. But yeah, overall, for all the Witcher fans out there, this is an absolutely awesome mod to grab. As I said before, you can run many different other Witcher mods with this one as well, i.e. the Geralt face. I know you can get that one, and the double sword as well, which Geralt runs around within the game as well. Highly recommend grabbing that one for this one if you are running sort of that Witcher theme as well. It does look a little bit pants with a vanilla character, but with all those different other elements added onto that, it is going to look absolutely ace. Guys, thanks ever so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this armor in the comment section below. But until the next one, guys, kill a kev and kill a kev out.